What's up, everybody? <laughs> stop it! Oh my god! <laughs> Ow! You can stop it! Oh my gosh! Anyway, safety is number one priority, and I'm here with Luke and Hugo, and they're getting so excited right now. I cannot believe he just jumped on me. He got jealous over Luke. So why am I over here with Luke and Hugo? Because we're gonna put to the test doggy gadgets. I know they're excited. Look at them jumping all over. For the first gadget, I got here a treat dispenser. You can hang it on your leash, and when your dogs do good, like make you sit or something, you can load it right here and then shoots off. So let's see how it works. You open it up, load up your dog treats in here. The dog treats have to be relatively small. Okay, let's pop it back in. Boom, okay. Now, let's go test it out, see if it's actually going to work. Okay, let's see if he likes it. You click it like this, put one tape in there, load it up, and shoot one. He couldn't even see it flying away. They know it's there, so they will listen now. They cannot get, look at him sitting. I didn't ask you to sit. Look, I didn't ask you to sit. Sit. Hugo, sit. Stay. Okay, let's see if he sees it and catches it. Look, you guys sit. Sit. Stay. Let's see if he catches us. Uh, he couldn't even see it. He's like, ah, oh, you didn't do anything. He can't even see it flying, so I don't know guys. Well guys, it's a great idea. I love the trade dispenser for Luke to catch. Hugo doesn't catch as much, but Luke always catch stuff in the air. But I guess it's a little bit too small for him. He doesn't even see it flying out, or maybe it flies out too fast. Well, maybe it will work for your dog, but for Luke and Hugo, it does not work that well. For this gadget, it's a cover for your SUV. If you let your dogs play in the mud, in a dog park or something, you don't want to let them jump in the front and like mud up your car. But check this out, this is how it's supposed to look like. I love this material right here, it's a little foamy kind of material, so that way it does not slide, it sticks to the floor. So, let's put it on, probably be easier to go around this way and adjust it either way. To get it tight. Well, very easy to adjust for sure. And I really love this fold out because when the dog jumped in on the car, they always scratch this bumper. So that will prevent it from it. So they jump in, you can cover it up. Alright, let's see if Luke and Hugo likes it. We're gonna open that up. Let's go in the car. Jump. Come on, go. Let's go, in the car. Come on. Good boys. Do you guys like it? Look at that. And they're pretty muddy right now, and it looks like they're enjoying this. They're enjoying it a lot. So, then look at that, all that mud it's catching. Then I can close this together and just close them. Stay. Stay. And boom, look at Hugo over there. Staying in, staying put, and not making my car muddy. Except he, they might jump out. If they feel like it, they probably will jump out in a second. Look, they don't even want to come out. He's like, okay, let's go. What are you waiting for? <laughs> they weren't even muddy. They were just running on a little bit wet dirt. But sometimes they run in the rain and they get super muddy. That will catch everything. And for this gadget, check this out. This is a stretchable dog seed blocker. You know, a lot of times the dog tried to jump right when you're driving and it's really distracting. You don't want to get in a car accident. So if you have the dog that always jumps while you're driving on you, maybe you want to get one of these blockers. So you clip the bottom end somewhere to the bottom. Then the top end goes into here on your seat rest. And same thing right here. And now you got yourself seat blocker right here so the dogs cannot jump on your front seat let's see if it's actually going to work let's go climb good job hugo come on look your turn come on come on you can do it fine i'll help you come on come on good boy good boy 
And there you go, here's Luke and there's Hugo, that block right here. Luke, come on, get to the front seat, come on. Let's see if he can get to the front seat. Luke, Luke, he's excited about the car. Luke, up, up, up. <laughs> ah, that's a fail. He jumped over anyway. Hugo, what's going on? You want to climb up here too? Come on, Luke. No. Okay, what are you doing? Come on, go back. Go back. Go back. Come on, go back. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Maybe it's for the smaller dog, this little blocker, not for the big dog, because he jumped over quite easily. So I don't know, maybe I need to like figure out something else, because this thing for Luke was not a problem. He got just excited about something else over there. By the way, remember a week ago I put to the test chew proof doggy bed, and guess what? Hugo still chewed up over here some other stuff, but not his doggy bed. So is this one, look at that, and this one. He did not chew any of them up, so it worked. Now my dogs can have a bed, because before that, any other doggy beds, he would tear them up. So I definitely recommend these doggy beds if your dog loves chewing them up. I don't know about your dog, but huskies are so hyper, they would jump out if the window open like this, out of the moving ve vehicle, so you gotta be really careful. So this gadget is supposed to prevent it. Boom, check this out. It looks like a little jail for your dog. So it slide in into your window like this. Let, let's see if it's going to be big enough. Do you see how it slides in into the window? Pretty good. Boom, then we can stretch it out to the, the whole window and it pops in inside of the door. Okay, let's go up a little bit. There you go. And this can go inside of the window on top right here. Can probably go up a little bit more. Just put it together so that way it cannot come out. And you got yourself a little window open all the way. So that way the dog cannot come out or jump out. And check this out. Now he can be in the car, look out of the window and smell a lot of air going into the car without worrying the dog jumping out of it. It's pretty durable, looks like it cannot come out. So if your dog loves to jump out of the car, you can just put up this gadget so that way it cannot come out. Look, it's pretty durable. I like it. And they can enjoy all that fresh air all they want without worrying them getting off the car. Usually I would have to open the window this much. Otherwise, he'll put his phone pass out here and try to jump out. So I can only open it this much so he doesn't jump out while we're driving on a highway or something. For this gadget, I got here a pretty crazy water bottle. Check this out. One compartment holds food and the other compartment holds water. How cool is that? And at the same time right here there's a bottle opener but for the dry compartment you open it up to get all your food. And it comes with a little collapsible ball. Let's see if Luke and Hugo are going to like this. It's a little bit too small of a ball for him. Okay, there you go. A little bit too small but looks like they're sharing. Not too bad at all. And to get food out, all you have to do is just open this compartment, stop it, and put some, stop it, and put some food in here. That's definitely a ball a little bit too small for him. But look, this is how you put food in there. Just like that. Luke is not hungry. Well, let Hugo eat. Luke, you're in the way of a camera, go away. Hugo will eat anytime. So as you can see, it works pretty good. That way you can feed your dog on the road, no problem. Maybe I'll just get a bigger bowl or something. Look at them, they both eat it now. All I have to do is just close it and put some more water and food for the next time. <laughs> I can't believe he's eating out of this tiny bowl, no problem. What do you guys think? I think it's a really cool idea. Put some water and food in here. So if you have to drive somewhere for four hours, no problem. 
For this gadget, I got your claw guard. It's a giant plastic screen or whatever you want to call it, a shield that you're going to hang on your door. As you can see, they get really excited when I get home and they scratch up the door so hard. Even side of the wall, look at that. This is all, all this stuff, they did it. So what you can do is get this film and just put it on your door like this. Now, they won't be able to scratch this part. Let's see if it's actually going to work. Okay, let's see how they're going to react when I knock on the door. So do you think it helps? They still jump all over this side as well and just throw this paint. But at least it will protect somewhat of the door. They're so funny. Alright guys, that's pretty much it. Let me know in comments below which gadget was your favorite. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up this video, subscribe and I'll see you next time.